Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yakuso. Today we are at Seijo University, and this is my first time to ever be inside a Japanese university. But the main reason, and arguably the most exciting reason I'm here today, is to learn about their kendo team. Kendo is something that's very traditionally Japanese, and I honestly don't know much about it. So I'm really excited to learn all about it today. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. So this campus is really beautiful. There are so many trees and it's really, really spacious. So this is Seijo Pond and it's absolutely huge and I totally didn't expect it to be here. This looks like it belongs in a big park, not in a university, but it's really, really lovely. So just here, you can see a list of all of the different university clubs. It's such a long list. They have football, rugby, American football, skiing, ice skating, truly any sport you can think of. I'm pretty sure they have it here. So just next to me here is the Kendo Clubhouse. And this is where they get ready and store everything they need. It's kind of like walking in on someone's bedroom. It feels very private. So I actually have special permission to enter. So let's take a look around. Konnichiwa. So it's kind of like a small house in here and it's very cozy and actually surprisingly warm. I felt like because it's such a small area and it's so close to outside, I thought it'd be quite cold in here, but it's quite cozy. It's nice. <laughs> Right behind me is the actual practice area where they practice and I'm really excited to check it out because like I said this is my first time ever seeing kendo and I really can't wait so let's go inside. So it's really really cool to see them in their kendo uniform because I've never seen anything like it before. Also this room where they practice is pretty big. I was quite surprised and yeah it's really fascinating just to see all of this and I feel really lucky. This is really cool. <laughs> I wonder if they know how cool they look. <laughs> so each time they do this, they're changing the direction and that's because they want to fully warm up their arms. So this is the meditation they do before they begin. So they're now putting on their full equipment with the helmet and everything and I'm so excited to see it all in its full glory. So this university was established in 1950 and the kendo club started in 1959. Their slogan is shuhari, shu meaning to learn and obey the basic principles, ha meaning to practice and li meaning to become individual with it, to make it your own. started really suddenly and it's really quite loud <laughs> so you can hear how forceful their foot movements are because they're stamping really quite hard also the whole thing is quite rhythmic there's a really obvious rhythm there i think you have to be really fit and healthy to be able to do this because they're quite quick as well as strong So in a lot of sports in the UK, we often start and finish by shaking hands to show respect. And obviously with kendo and Japanese sports, they bow before and after to show respect. One of the things that I find really fascinating is the atmosphere goes from really calm and quiet one minute to really loud and a little bit aggressive the next minute. It happens really quickly and suddenly. <laughs> So they're hitting a lot of different parts of the body and I really like the gloves that they wear because I imagine you could get hit quite a lot there and it's good to have some protection because with the kendo sword I think that would really 
if it hit your bare skin. <laughs> I love that it says my name on it and then also squishy talk. <laughs> I can't believe that they prepared this for us. It was such a nice surprise and there's so much detail with my name on it and squishy talk on it. So that's really incredible. So this is really heavy, but I kind of imagined that it would be, but it feels really secure. I feel really safe. <laughs> This is so much more difficult than I expected. Just the footwork, just moving is really, really hard. I don't think I'm strong enough to be doing this. I have no upper body strength at all, or lower body strength. I'm kind of like a jellyfish. I don't know why, but I think I can't use force. I just feel like the noise makes it sound like it would hurt, which they said the helmet actually really protects you and you can't feel anything. But I think it's just in my nature. I can't physically do it hard. No. <laughs> that was so much harder than it looks. You have to get like your body in the right position, which I definitely didn't. I have zero technique. And yeah, it's really difficult to hit somebody on the head with force. Even when you know they're being protected, it's still really difficult to mentally do that. But anyway, now I'm going to try being the one that gets hit. And I'm actually okay with that. I think I might prefer that. <laughs> This is really heavy, but I feel safe, which I think is the most important thing. I never in a million years expected I would ever be dressed like this, but here we are. I can't see out the sides, which is kind of scary, but also I think I like it. <laughs> So you can feel it, obviously, like you feel the helmet move and you definitely hear it. It's kind of weird because I feel like you expect it to, like you expect to feel pain or discomfort or something because somebody is hitting you. But yeah, the helmet definitely absorbs the shock. It's the noise, I think that's kind of the scary part. That also doesn't hurt. But again, it's like you can feel the force, like you feel that there's force there, but it definitely doesn't hurt, which is a nice surprise. <laughs> that was the weirdest one. I don't know why. But again, like definitely didn't hurt. It's just you can definitely feel that you're being hit, obviously. And you can kind of feel like this section move slightly, but it's so secure that you barely even notice that. So it's like you don't really feel anything at all. Again, I would say it's just the sound. If there was no sound, you probably wouldn't even realize anything is happening to you, which is quite cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that was scary. <laughs> no pain, but still scary. So this protective gear, all of it is actually really, really comfortable. I think because you feel so safe and so secure, it kind of also makes you feel comforted by it. Like you're wearing this and you know nothing bad is going to happen to you. So it kind of gives you not only that sense of security, but also that sense of comfort. Maybe I should just never take it off. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go to the grocery store dressed like this. It is so comfortable. <laughs> Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I have had so much fun. This has truly been such an incredible experience and I feel so lucky to have had the opportunity to come here today. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. What is your favorite sport and why? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.